All right, automotive tools, volume three. Today's tools are tools for working on your cooling system. A little overview of what we got here. Coolant tester, test for the freeze protection. So a lot of times people come in, how's my coolant doing? And this is all we do at work. And then that orange ball should drop down. Got a little thermometer, testing the heater outlet temperature. A lot of times if you know you have a you know you feel like you're not getting a lot of heat thermometer right there in the dash and you can compare that to like the manufacturer specs you know they might say you know engine at full operating temperature minimum temp is 140 and if you're at like you know 100 degrees you know you might have you know clogged heater core or you know something else going on but without this you're just going by well it feels kind of warm not as hot as it used to be so Something like this gives you a much better, you know what I mean, something to go off of than say, you know, oh, it's, uh, it doesn't really heat my hand the way it used to. No, but it's definitely more accurate. This also doubles up um, come AC season because the same tool you use for testing the temperature here and the, for the heater not working is the same tool you'll be using to test the temperature when the AC ain't working. So, got to have one of these year round. Got a little mini temp gun. That's for taking temperatures of hoses without actually touching them. So with the temp gun, you can test temperatures of things that aren't easily accessible. Like the thermostat housing on this trailblazer. If I was to do it while I was running, you know, I could just go just like that, boom. And I can measure the um, temperature of the coolant right before it gets to the thermostat. On these heater hoses, I can't even reach them. i got pretty long damn arms, I can't reach them. So if I wanted to compare the temperature of the coolant going into the heater core and the temperature of the coolant coming out, you know, it's just a trigger away. Um, believe it or not, yeah, there's actually a ton of automotive uses for this thing. I know it's like 80 bucks or whatever, but man, it's it's helped troubleshoot some cars. I've seen these on the first tools video because they're essentials. See, these pliers are specifically made for these kind of radiator hose clamps. You just put the big long groove in that tab, and then you put the bucket on this one right here, a little stubby. That's how you can squeeze it and get it off without using like pliers that want to slip off and shit. Got a couple different styles of picks for getting stubborn hoses off. This is a pretty good one because you can get up in there from behind it and just kind of work it around and get that thing off. You got some pinch off tools for clamping off various hoses. So you just take this thing and Just pinch her off for whatever you need it for. I got these blue points because they're probably the best ones I've ever used. This is like a little cheapy alternative. You can just slide your hose up in there. Just kind of twist this down and it'll pinch it off. Got a cooling system pressure tester. So the way this works, you put your adapter on here. put pressure on it that way and check for leaks. Now another thing this is good for is checking a repair. You know, after you make a repair to your cooling system, you can go back right behind and, and hook this up and just see if everything's holding that. So it's a must have for working on these cooling systems. I know in that pickup over there, you know, I'll put the water pump on and then I stop. Once that water pump's on, I stop, fill up the system, put pressure on it before I put everything back together. If you have multiple vehicles that you're taking care of or whatever, you're going to need different size caps. So this is the one for the trailblazer. And see for the pickup, you wouldn't even need the adapter. The tool itself will screw on there. And put pressure on this thing. So again, I put a water pump on this thing. As soon as I put the new pump on, before I put anything else back together, fill up the system and pressurize it. Cause that way if you pinch the gasket or something, you're going to know before you put all this crap back together. They also got a big catch can for catching large amounts of coolant. So this what I have here is a what's called a spill-free funnel. The way it works is put these little fancy adapters on, screw her down. 
you can add to it run, and you know fill it up a little bit run the engine and let all the air purge out that way it's really great for like not making a mess and everything there's other videos on this particular tool on YouTube I'm not even going to show how to use it but just like the pressure tester you have to have the adapters for all your vehicles so this adapter here for the trailblazer it ain't going to work on the pickup I mean it just goes to show you that you know you'll be, we'll have to get different adapters for different vehicles they don't make it like a one size fits all this is what's called radiator dye. It's made by Napa. And if you have like a really slow leak or whatever, you just pour this thing right in with your coolant. Drive it for, you know, whatever, a couple days. And then you go right behind it with a, with a little UV black light. This is an LED type. You also get some cool yellow glasses. On a lot of these 5.7s, you get like a coolant leak, and I don't know what it is, but it always seems like it's dripping from the water pump, and um, what I do is I just fill them up with the dye, come back with a black light, look all around down in here, you know, by that intake gasket down there. It really helps to be better to go over it with the inspection light at nighttime because the leak will just pop right out at you. Alright, so we're out here at nighttime. I've got my UV light, and I've got my yellow glasses in front of the camera lens. This is all that crap I spilled yesterday when I took the cap off. I moved the glasses away. See so it just looks like a regular you know UV black light. So that's why you kinda gotta have those yellow super awesome glasses. You see how it turns all bright green in there? So there you have it. There's tools for your cooling system. All this is, I'd say, pretty affordable for do-it-yourself people and definitely worth getting. I mean, this is what I consider the basics. I have all this same stuff at my work, you know what I mean? And this is the stuff I use enough at home that I justify buying it for home use too. So, if you like what you see, subscribe. See ya. Yeah, I'm going to try that at home. This thing can sit overnight. No pressure. I always wanted to, like make my own caution warning about taking radiator caps off because I've seen some crazy shit. This one time, this dude, he just pulled up in front of my work, asked the cashier for a thing of coolant, came out there, popped the hood, took this cap off, and it flew onto the top of my work. That that building was like, it was like 20 feet tall. It, it That's how much pressure was in there. And you know what came behind that was a lot of hot coolant too. I mean it burned his whole arm and it got all up in his face, burned his face. I mean he had blisters on his shit. This shit ain't no joke. So be careful. The best thing you can do, seriously, if you're doing it at home, you're not a professional, let this thing sit overnight. You know what I mean? Let it sit overnight. Come up here and grab this hose. This thing should be cold to the touch and squishy. You know what I mean? If it's warm, don't mess with it. I mean, like I said, I'm all for you guys doing this shit out there yourselves, but you can get seriously hurt, you know what I mean? Because I guess as it, it was on his shirt, and it, you know what I mean? So it was burning him as he's like screaming. He panicked, he didn't know what to do. So man, he ended up ripping off his shirt and shit. Like a tough guy. Shit, I do it. I just take some rags and <laughs> I have to do it at my job sometimes because I don't have the luxury of letting the car sit overnight before I take it off. But you working at home, man, do yourself a favor, man. Just be safe. I had to throw something in there because. You know, you always see like the people telling you this and then they'll say, blah, 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 I'm a scientist, the cooling system is under pressure and you can get burned and that's it. I would have rather heard you will be screaming in agonizing pain as, you know, these, your skin's turning into big blisters everywhere. Yeah, because I mean, it's, you know, a couple hundred degrees. It's like hotter than the shower, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. So... I mean, I, I didn't even want to show me, you know what I mean, screwing this off, but I just said, you know, the truck's been sitting overnight. But, yeah, this is awesome. This should make a holster for this. Subscribe. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Your uh, rear one on the left side looked flat on the rim. By the back? Yeah. That one looks perfect. April Fools. April, uh, April Fools. I tried. Really, April Fools. You're going to tell me that my tire is flat? <sighs> I 
This is bright as hell. You don't click it when you pop them burners. You, you squeeze. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the way back there. Fuck that thing. Some people actually ride around with this shit like in the dash, you know what I mean? Like permanently, like it's just shoved in there and that's how they roll. I don't I don't know, I've never really needed to know the temperature at all times like that, you know what I mean? Maybe they're meteorologists or some shit. Oh, uh, the barometric pressure is uh, 55 <laughs> knots. 